First stop was Angelo's Pizza. This place was rated 9.1 by a famous YouTuber. Their channel is called One Bite Pizza Review. He reviews pizzas from all over the U.S. Pizza. Oh, for $30? You can only order a full pizza and you have to call in and they were already sold out by 5 p.m. How are you sold out of pizza? Disappointed we had to look for another place to get a late lunch. He's standing in the middle of the street. We decided to check into our hotel and we stayed at the Penn's View Hotel and it offers an old world European experience in the heart of Philadelphia's historic district. They have an on-site wine and cellar and also a sit down restaurant. I heard the food was really good and the happy hour as well. Of course, I had to bring the Lysol wipes and disinfectant spray to clean up the room before I was comfortable staying in it. The hotel had outdoor seating in response to COVID, so I thought that was really cute. And the scenery behind it, you can see the bridge in the back and the flowers that they had, it was just really nice. There was an abundance of cheesesteak shop but I reached out to a few of my friends who were actually from Philly and they all suggested Max's. We passed Temple University on the way to Max's and it appeared to have a really beautiful campus. Yep, we're parking. There's the car. Hopefully it's still there when we come back. While we were waiting for our cheesesteaks, we went next door to the bar to have a quick drink. You would think that I was already drinking by the way my drink spilled when it was completely full all the way to the top. <laughs> and we noticed that the same lady who was taking our order was the same lady who was putting together the cheese sticks in the bag to separate each order. So the line was so much longer when we left the bar because of that. She was doing two things and she's only one person. Look how big this thing is. <laughs> we no ketchup. No ketchup. Oh, you know what? No, I didn't bring it. I almost packed ketchup. It's upside down. <laughs> On non hybrid trims, at least they cut it in the middle. That is huge. That's what she said. <laughs> Trying out Max's, Max's cheesesteak. 
Philly cheesesteak. Supposed to be the best of the best. Why is that cheese? From the bottom of the hill. Is that? We were supposed to get dinner, but we were so full from the cheesesteaks that we opted just for ice cream. We went to Franklin's Ice Cream, which was right up the street from our hotel, and I liked the 50s and 60s vibe that it was giving. I ordered the mint chip with brownie bites, and it was oh so delicious. <laughs> Second Street was blocked off so that restaurants can have their outdoor seating. And a lot of people were out there just eating, drinking, and having fun. And it was so cute. If you have kids, or even if you're a kid at heart, you will like the Blue Cross River Rink Summerfest. It had a roller rink and carnival style food, fun, and drink options. And that was super cute as well. And that was right on the water. For breakfast, we went to Winnie's. When we checked online, it said that there was no eating in, so we decided to order takeout. But when we got there, we saw people dining in, so we decided to stay and eat our food there while it was still hot. I chose the creme brulee of French toast, and it was topped with vanilla custard, berry compote, cream anglaise, maple syrup, and whipped cream. It was so, so, so good. Okay. Good? Yeah, your friends got breakfast now. Sure. What kind of sauce is that? Hollandaise with uh, chili something. And he got the chicken and waffle Benny. And it was malted waffle, fried chicken breast, orange blossom honey, poached eggs, and a spicy chive hollandaise sauce. And we also ordered the champagne kit. So it came with a bottle of champagne and freshly squeezed orange juice. Thank you, folks. Thank, Thank you. you. Hopefully, we'll see you next weekend. Where are we? <laughs> We're actually from out of town. <laughs> we just ate breakfast at Winnie's. It was perfect for breakfast. And this city, this part of the city, is really nice too. Show you guys. Some of it. It's really cute. Let's see if we got a ticket. Flowers. Our parking, the parking meter wasn't working, and we just saw the parking enforcer walk past. So let's see if we have a ticket. No ticket. <laughs> Or is it say out of order? Oh. We lucked out. There's no ticket. Well, old fashioned meters, you have to pay with coins and I have no coins. There's a coin shortage. What's going on right now? So back to the hotel. Unless they send me the ticket in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> Philly has a mural arts program that I learned about from watching another small YouTuber's videos. So I was really interested in seeing a couple of murals while we were there. 
This mosaic is called Birth of Fairmont Park by Josie Stam. It was beautifully put together. And here's a close up and a sign that talks more about the city of Man and Young. Hope I'm saying that correctly. And then this one here is called Canal System of Maniunk by Tish Ingersoll. And this one was created in 1999. This one is called Happy Trails by Aloya's McLean. I love that it's bright, bold, and playful. Going to see the Constitution Hall in Libertyville. Just checked out of the hotel. Such a beautiful day. Thank you. No more rain. It was raining earlier this morning. Bus, move out the way. Oh, are they getting in line? Look at all those people. Oh my gosh, I hope they're doing a protest. Yes, yeah, Trump procession. Oh. And they're stopping to get in line. On our way to Liberty Bell, we ran into the Proud Boys. They are a far-right group with a history of violent confrontations and has ties to white supremacy. You might have heard Trump reference the group in his debate a few weeks ago. So we have people behind us. I don't know if you can see it. They are poor Trump and they're screaming some things. And then they have the uh, police here. Can we zoom in? You can't really see them. What a day. Don't you hate it when it's raining on your white pride protest? <laughs> God bless America. They said that? And, uh, they said they're the Proud Boys of God bless America? Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Thank you. Yep. There were about 30 or so police officers who were on standby just in case something went down. The uh, sun is out. Ooh, pretty. Independence Hall in the back is always there. And then a National, Con ah, a National Constitution Center back there. The Liberty Bell is an iconic symbol of American's independence. When it was first made, the bell was used to alert lawmakers of legislative meetings. It was once placed on the steeple of the Pennsylvania State House, which is now called Independence Hall. To preserve it, they moved it to the Liberty Bell Center, which is where we are visiting now. Prior to this, I didn't really know much about the Women's Liberty Bell. I guess they don't talk too much about this in history class. Anyways, it had a clapper chain to the bell so that it could not sound which symbolized the inability of women lacking the vote to influence political events. It was really nice learning about the Justice Bell or the Women's Liberty Bell and the fight for women's access to vote. Now, I absolutely love this mural. It's called Legacy by Josh S. and Eric O. And it features a famous quote from Abraham Lincoln on the bottom right. After seeing the historic Liberty Bell, we went to see the Independence Hall, but wait time was over an hour. So we skipped that because we wanted to see a little bit more of the city before we went home. This is the type of protest I'm here for. Trump and Pence 
out now. So, second. They blocked off the whole second street so that restaurants can have their customers seated outside. At nighttime, this is so beautiful. During the rain, it's not so much. We were supposed to walk to see these two murals, but then it started pouring down raining. So we walked back to the car, and now we're going to drive to the mural. <sighs> Hair's all messed up. The humidity really did it. Should have kept those cornrows in. This is actually called the Tree of Knowledge, and this is by Michael Webb. I love this. Oh God, the sun is too bright. Oh yeah, this is perfect. <laughs> oh, I need to get Ben Franklin on top too. Where? Uh, this is so beautiful. Okay, where's Ben? I can't see it from oh. Oh, oh, oh. The parking lot is gated off, so you can't really see it. So I was able to climb up <laughs> and see it from up top. This one is really pretty. And now the sun is out. It is so beautiful out here today. Enjoying the streets and art work of Philly. And this is really cool. I don't know what type of material this is. Very, very different. This one is called Finding Home. Nice. And it continues on this side. On the other side, that home is, and then it says where I feel family. I wish I could back up a little bit so I could see the whole thing. And there is a hand. And it looks like pictures of family. That is actually beautiful. Let's get a close up. Nice. My angel wing. They have one like that in uh, DC. Oh, I know. So small. <laughs> so small. <laughs> Look at the line to take a picture. Oh <laughs> the line.
and you can't go to Philly without going to see the stairs that Rocky ran up during the movie and why not run up them yourself? <laughs> Are you doing every step? Got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do, you, what do you do this? <laughs> Our last stop in Philly was Lorenzo's Pizza. I heard they had the best pizza in the city and that the slices were the size of your head. So we had to check it out. The pizza was really good and the wait wasn't as long as it was at Angelo's. And that sums up our 24 hours in Philly. I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you did. Also click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I post. And until my next post, I will see you guys later. Bye.